Hello, my convicts and convict heads. Yes, it is I, the Cap Convict, bringing you guys and gals a new gameplay. And yes, welcome. It's Halloween. So, this is the Halloween special I wanted to do. But unfortunately, because of the problems with the internet and obviously my little boy being here as well, I want to be able to do a gameplay without him being in the background or the fact that they have no internet. I can't really say anything about that, to be honest. So, playing Dead by Daylight. And this map I've never played before, so this was a new experience for me. This map I've never ever been on, so I didn't even have a clue how to traverse this map or what to do or anything. So it's pretty interesting. I do believe though, after playing this game, as this is pre-recorded, just in case my little boy did get up this morning, because it is quite early hours in the morning here, uh, they must have been in a team, I think. I just felt like these people were joined together as a group, apart from obviously myself, because they seemed to be very, very active around each other in terms of how they were sort of like chasing and saving and stuff. But it was interesting. Nice refreshing to have a really good team who's quite strong and knows exactly what to do, where to go, how to do it, how to protect, how to run and dodge and evade and stuff. So. It's always a fun game when you've got a very, very good team against the killer. So I'm not even sure what this map is an interpret of. Is it the new one? Is it the Demogorgon one? Is that what this is supposed to be? Let me know in the comments, because I've got no clue about this map, what this map is from. It could be from the Plague, it could be from the Demogorgon, it could be from any of the new killers. So, first person hooked. Or second person, I don't know. <laughs> Lost track now. But yeah, I, I didn't know where pallets were. I didn't know where to go or anything. So, for me, it was more about just being a little bit quiet, a little bit evady, trying not to get caught. Obviously, figure my way around the map because I got a clue where I am and what I'm doing. <laughs> As you can see, the killer fixed on his prey on chasing him. So okay, you chase him. It's like right, I'm just gonna start this gen. Chill out. So hopefully you all had a great Halloween. I do apologize this video will be after Halloween, but hey ho. It's just uh, unfortunate that we, we didn't get to do this on Halloween. I really wanted to do a live stream to be honest. But it's it's been pretty busy as well here with kids, which is quite nice, because previous year or so, it's been pretty quiet uh, for kids, but because we've got new builds here that were newly built, it meant that, you know, it's getting a lot more kids, which is always nice. So as you can see, we're just blasting through these gems, three gems left. I was like, oh god, he's close. Let me just go to these stairs, just in case. Because he might not come upstairs, and we've got this little hatch here I can dip down into, if need be. And then I was going to go, it's like, oh, he's coming back, let me hide. He was like, okay, he's not. I was like, yeah, he's coming back again. I was like, I'm just going to chill here for a minute. And then I saw Legacy Jake come in, I was like, oh god. Jake, you're trying to get me killed here because I thought he was chasing him for a moment. But now Jake just wanted to do the gen. It's like, okay. And then you can see premonition's gone off, so that means he's close. There we go. I've done the gen. I, I don't know why I blew the gen there. I didn't mean to. It's like, crap. I was hoping to. Uh, catch the killer there but at this point I didn't know where to go because there's no as you can see there's no pallets and then I spun around and I didn't expect him to spin I thought I was going to try and whack so I'd, he'd miss but he didn't he just turned around as that like, oh <laughs> okay so my first hook I was like great but knowing that there was a pretty decent team I wasn't too worried I thought surely they'll just come and save me anyway uh, but my controls got inverted at this point 
I don't know why, but when you do the wiggle to get off the hook, it inverts my control sometimes, which is really weird. I have to press my sensor bar, my PlayStation sensor bar, in the middle of the pad to get it to stop. Because it inverts. So luckily, as you can see, how well these teams working. Got Legacy Jake in there, blocking, you know, with the other teammate as well to stop the killer from getting me. Which is pretty nice. Because it could have just left me to die, to be honest, if they're working as a team. They didn't really need a, f a fourth person, but it's always nice. And here, I'm the luckiest person ever. Not only did the killer walk by me, but he turned ra back around to look at me and still go the other way. <laughs> And that was hurt, so he would have heard me crying. I don't know why, he, unless the killer was just after one specific person, and he did see me, and it was it was like, oh, I'm not bothered. I want this other person. But surely you would have thought he would have wanted to kill some people and get him on the hook. So I was completely blind and deaf, or just crazy, because normally when they're crying out like that, you can hear it very, very easy as the killer when you're close. So how we didn't recognize that I don't know <coughs> I guess the music because you get that ding, 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 but I don't think you know, oh no you, well, you get kind of like a chase don't you with the killer but normally if the killer's looking at you and he chases you he gets his music which confirms that there's someone in front so as you can see here me and good old Tom Giving it the good old heal. So you can see this hatch up here is closed. So it'd be terrible to come to this area because you would get killed because you can't really drop down the hatch. But luckily, I think it's the legacy Jake who went down. But as you see in a moment, he decisive strikes him, I believe, is what he did. His premonition's gone off, so it's close. There's the decisive strike. So it was pretty clued up, he knew he knew how to play. At this point it's just like trying to figure out what the killer's doing. You can hear him setting the trap there. Just a uh, little communication between the players. I wish you'd add some form of like talking or something for the characters in this game so she could go Go, go find the gen. St stuff like that. Like, talk to each other, whisper to each other. Go find the gen. Get him off the hook. Stuff like that. Or get her off the hook. Watch out, he's over there. Come here. Sort of thing. Rather than it just being waving and pointing. I think that'd be a good addition to this game. So I thought the killer was going to come this way, and that's why I moved, because he's right down the end of the corridor here. I did see him. So we got one gen left, and I could hear that the killer was coming. I was like, well, I'm just going to go this way. He's, he's, surely he's going to finish the gen. And he did. And I was like, right, I'm just going to open this gate. And then hopefully we can escape. But as you can tell, we can still hear music. So at this point, I wasn't too sure. I was like, mm, he's gone. Let me do it. And then I heard him coming. He's like, oh God, please don't find me. Stick my head through this. Will he see me? And he's actually put him really close to us. So luckily, my teammate didn't screw this up for us. As it, it was going to pull the gate. I was like, no, 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 no. Don't pull the gate yet. Give him a chance to move away. I was like, right, now's the time, now's the time. He's like, <laughs> blocking me, get out of the way. And he goes around there for the sneaky sneak, the sneaky sneak, to save Legacy Jake. Well, I pull him down on the door. And there we go. We survived. I was like, well, we might as well heal Jake while we wait for the killer. And here he comes, like, ha, <laughs> Jake trying to blind him in the face. And there we go, round one, and we survived. So don't forget if you enjoy these to like, subscribe, and tap that notification bell. And let's get it on, let's 
have a bit of fun with round two. As you can see, he's, bless him, he's only level 20 with agitation being the fact that he can carry his victims and he can't really break it. Uh, he, well, no, he can break out of it, sorry, but he can move at speed while carrying survivors so he can get to further hooks. But as you can see, everyone's pretty, pretty tanked up with perks on there. So here we go with round two. So here we are now at the gas haven, not knowing who the killer is. Time to go and find. And as you can see, I've got the Halloween heal box. So I can heal up people like a boss. Sneaky snake with my urban innovation. I really love urban innovation. I wish everyone had a form of urban innovation in this game. I think that would be a cool thing for the survivors, to, for everyone to have urban innovation. Just makes it so much easier to traverse around the map. I think the, s the speed at which people crouch walk before is a little bit too slow. I think they should speed it up just a little bit for them. If not, the same speed as urban invasion. Just for me personally, I find it hard to beat the to get away from the killers because not knowing where pallets are, where to run to, and then obviously not being able to duke as well. But one thing I have noticed is that the PS4 Pro version of Dead by Daylight, or playing the game on PS4 Pro, is a lot, lot better than playing it on the original PlayStation. It's a lot more optimized, and it, it seemed more, it less blurry, less sort of like graphically bad. A nice near here, the other near, blowing the gen for me. I was like, great, he's on his way now. Cheers. I'm just gonna go over here, you carry on with that Jen, and he can chase you and swing swung at you. I'm, I'm gonna be over here. I didn't realize that ding, does that? Like, oh god, I pressed the bell in front of the thing. So as you can see, he's getting chased now by the Trapper once again. So we had two games of the Trapper. The Trapper seems to be a pretty popular guy as of uh, today. I did try, unfortunately, to beat the killer as well. I don't know if I mentioned this already, but unfortunately, I couldn't get no games. I don't know why. I can never get into a game as a killer, because killers seem to be having a pretty easy time getting into games. And I did put my geo filter to the full max of the whole of the area that I can reach. So literally all of America and surrounding areas, everything on the map was included to allow me into games as a killer. And I couldn't find a game. You just don't want me to be the killer, I guess. Just stuck as a survivor. So I'm just going over, as you can see the survivor was flailing his arms, which normally tells me that the killer's close. That's how we're communicating that the killer's nearby. Going in for the rescue. I was looking at the floor as you can see here, trying to just make sure he's not put any traps down. I was like, I'll heal if you want. Do you want me to heal you? Like, okay, no, he's coming. It's like, uh, let me uh, evade away. Do my urban evasion bit. I was like, well, I'm just going to go back and complete a gen. Poor guy went down again. I don't know if it's the same one or if it was a different one. <coughs> Excuse me. I had my drink this morning. But he got hooked up. Was that okay? Let me just continue the gen a little bit. So I was hoping, obviously, having three more people there, someone would go and save this particular person. But I thought I'll just try and do as much of the gen as I can. As you can see, we've got four gens left. And we haven't really done a great deal. So at this point I was like, killer could be coming this way. Premonition's gone off, so he's within my radius. But they have saved the other survivor. I'm like, no, he'll, he'll have gone back now. If they've gone to save, he'll go straight in for the either to sandbag and to tunnel the, the injured survivor or to obviously chase the others. So like, I've got plenty of time. Let's get back to the gen. So 
So nearly there, and there we go, number three. Three gems left. Well, I should say two, and then there goes another one. That's the third one. That's number three. To cleanse the totems for some extra points. Why not? So all my teammates are injured now at this point, as you can see. So just run around, try and find the gen. Uh, I could hear someone, so ooh, I can hear Survivor. It's like, oh, he's been trapped, let me quickly go save him. Because there is some perks that make it really, really hard to escape the traps. So come in and pull the trap off him. I'm like, I can hear you if you want. Like, well, we've got time because the other guy has been hooked over there, but I can see in the distance if you see the trapper starts to make his way. He's like, ooh, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming over. Is, that, is he coming? Or not? Uh, I'm not sure. Let me go for the gem. Again, looking at the floor. Always trying to look down from an angle, and then you can see the traps. And then this guy was like waving to me. I'm like, what? What? What, what do you want? I was like, what? What do you want to do? And it's just walking around in circles. I'm like, eh? What? I'm like, what do you want? And he's walking around me, and I'm thinking, what does he want me to do? Does he want my med kit? I'm like, I don't know. He's just bobbing at me like an idiot, and I forgot what the button is to put the med kit down, and I put the med kit down. I'm like, what? You want the med kit? The, is that what you want? He's like, no. I was like, okay. <laughs> Well, I, I got a clue, but at this point, killer starts coming over again. Well, like, let me just double check to see where he is. Well, like, well, he's definitely coming this way. So I'm gonna hide. And here he is. Being on par par Claudette. That other team has been now rescued. I'm like, okay, well, if Claudia gets knocked down now, which she will do, then I can go and help her straight away. As soon as she gets knocked down, I'll pick her up. So Mr. Trapper sticks her on a hook. Mr. Jen, I was like, okay, go on then, Mr. Trapper, you go away, have some fun. I'm like, right, let me just see, keep an eye on his distance, and then I'll pull her down. There we go. I'm like, right, you go. And if I thought, well, seeing she's running, I might as well run with her, because she's making scratch marks all along. I'm like, come here, Claudette. Don't run too far. I'm just tapping L1 to try and get a bit close. I'm like, come here, let me heal you. I've got a med kit. And it's a pretty quick med kit. And there we go. I'm no. I'm here, buddy. I've got you. So, like, right, let's get back to his gen quick because his gen's nearly is regressing as we speak. Because as the killers kick the gens, they do start to go down. So you have to get back on them as soon as possible. If you touch it and get it on, you don't need to like fully start. You can just tap it and you can actually stop the generator from going down fully. But I didn't need to. I was pretty happy. I'd I didn't need to be too worried. There's a lot of skill checks on this, so I'm assuming you might have a perk. That means that you have a lot of skill checks. So we go, there's another gen done. And premonition's gone off, so I know the killer's nearby. Hence why I'm quickly moving away. And then he's over here, chasing Paul Feng. So, okay, he's chasing Feng. 
You can see in the video, and looking at the floors, you can see here, just checking out for any traps, because you never know. I thought that was a trap that was open for me there. I was like, no, it's closed. I'm okay. As long as it's not open, open. Poor thing got sacrificed. Not much we could do for her, to be honest. I was like, oh, here he comes. I'm so terrible at evading the killer, I don't know why. But I was looking for any pallets I could find. I was like, where's all the pallets? I ran straight into his loving arms. The loving, tender embrace. <laughs> like, dang it. Do the wiggle. I was like, no, I'm not going to get away because most killers will carry agitation. Or um, the other one as well. So you can't escape. You can hold you for a long time. I was like, ah, don't hit me. Go find someone. I'm like, he's here. Letting people know he's nearby. So the killer goes over there. So I don't know how he knew someone was there. He must have a perk that once he hooks someone, he sees the other survivors, I think. Which I think is the, the leather face perk, is it? I'm like, cheers, teammate. You just dropped the pallet in my face. I was like, he's on his way. He's like, okay, let me just urbanly evade away. Can't find me if I urban evade. I was like, shh, stop crying near. He's nearby. I was like, oh, just see him. Is it gonna come in? I was like, if I keep doing this, maybe I'll stop myself from crying. I was like, well, he's, he's gone away anyway, so I can get this done. And again, he's coming back, so I'm like, well, I don't want to be making any sounds. Premonition's gone off, as you can see. I'm like, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. He's lost me. Again, looking down at the floor. If you, you look straight ahead, you don't see the traps. You have to kind of angle the camera so you look looking sort of down. And there's another toolbox. I didn't even notice that toolbox, to be honest. <laughs> I'm blind. But I'm okay. I, I want to keep my med kit anyway. So it's just time to walk over here and open the gate, but someone's here already. So I'm like, oh, we're we'll, we'll pretty okay. I'm like, oh, here comes the killer. Luckily, he just opened the gate at the at the moment that the killer got there to hit him. And I walked by and he hit me as well. <laughs> but there we go. So hopefully you enjoyed. This was Dead by Daylight, for those who didn't know. But hopefully you enjoyed. Don't forget to like. Subscribe, tap that notification bell so you can be notified of all my videos as they go live. And maybe if I do any future live streams, you'll always know because I do all different types of games from gameplays to reviews, unboxings, so on and so forth. Some I haven't done for quite a while, but once obviously I get this new PC, hopefully, then we can go into doing some more really cool unboxings and things and things like that once we get some more stuff now i get more help and support so there we go that's step by daylight you know who it is it is i the cap convict so i'm signing out and as always i salute you my convicts and convicts and i'll see you soon in another gameplay let me know in the comments below if you are enjoying dead by daylight if you play it who your main is and i will see you in the next one bye for now.